Here we've got the first view of a new Arduino based temperature controller to heat and cool my two 12.2 gallon more beer conicals and a new uh, 27 gallon fermenter. Um, got a uh, air conditioner converted to glycol chiller with uh, three pumps, one for each uh, fermenter. The Ranko controllers that are on top are legacy for life before this temp controller and before the uh, 27 gallon fermenter. So uh, what we've got here is a uh, controller um, from a RepRap 3D printer where we've got a, an encoder and the four line LCD and you can select your fermenter select what mode we've got uh, off a manual set mode uh, hold and ramp where you can set the number of hours it holds uh, at a temperature and then ramps to uh, a fermentation temperature. We've got a ramp which will just take and, and ramp your temperature from existing to um, a higher temp that you set over a set period of time and you select how many degrees per day it uh, ramps up. We've got a diacetyl rest and a crash cool. Um, the diacetyl rest will take and let the fermenters free rise uh, to your desired temperature and then it, you set how many hours you want it to stay at that temperature and then it will start cooling down to a, a lower temperature that you set and by a prescribed number of degrees per day all within di the diacetyl rest uh, program and say the crash will just take and uh, lower your temp to whatever you like and it'll lower it by a set number of degrees per day so we've got uh, those programs for each of the uh, the fermenters got a glycol chiller that's controlled through here you can have this set on manual mode or automatic when it's set to automatic mode, it will automatically set the temperature 10 degrees below your lowest fermenter. Unless it's too low and it's going to get way below freezing, then it'll prevent that. Um, but you've got uh, your temp differential for the glycol chiller. That's set at 5 degrees. Um, the minimum number of uh, minutes that the glycol chiller, uh, the AC unit will, will be on, which is two minutes, set to two. The minimum number of uh, minutes the glycol chiller will stay off, the AC unit, uh, five minutes, and that's all to prevent short cycling and, and have it turning on and off. As you can see over here with my fermenter one, um, I'm currently having trouble uh, with some noise in my uh, thermistors. Uh, due to the uh, the 110 volt uh, power that's on the inside of the box here, so I've got to figure out how to uh, how to prevent that uh, from happening. Double click takes you back to the main menu. It's got an error system, which will yell at you if things aren't working correctly, or if your temperatures are out of line. If you're uh, set points are out of line, whether you're uh, trying to ramp um, if you're trying to ramp up to a temperature and your uh, fermenter is already over that temp, it won't let you, things along those lines, basic logic so I've got uh, all my uh, outlets for fermenter 1, 2, and 3, heat and cool um, I, guess I should go over that yeah, each fermenter is wrapped 
The 27 gallon is wrapped with 100 feet of 3 8 OD copper. Uh, for cooling, each of the 12 gallon fermenters is wrapped with 60 feet of 3 8 OD copper. And then the cone of each fermenter has a firm wrap around it for the heating. Um, and then I've got the glycol chiller here and I also have a pump which will recirculate the glycol within the tank to make sure that it, it all gets chilled and doesn't tries not to freeze up on the uh, evaporator. Um, that's the basics. Um, got uh, five thermistors here. I've got one for the glycol, one for fermenter one, two, and three, and then one for ambient. Um, over on the side, I've got power in, and then I've also got a USB port. Uh, currently don't have uh, any network connectivity, but uh, as you can see, I really need to figure out the... Uh, um, the noise issue because it's not supposed to do that at all. I've got about a three-quarter degree dead band and uh, where it, in between where it starts heating and cooling and it's uh, all over the place. Uh, our glycol chiller just kicked on. Uh, this is really ugly right now because we're in kind of a prototype stage. But uh, here you got the, the four LEDs, got the um, rep wrap controller. It does have an SD card for data logging. Um, we've got 110 volt mains coming in here. Got uh, a 12 volt DC power supply which runs the relays, and then I have the Arduino dropping down to 9 volt supply before it goes in there. Um, but it's, uh, it's a rat's nest, it's just everything's on a, a breadboard right now. Um, if I get this thing up and working, I'll probably end up uh, putting that on a, a prototype board. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you.